Um, this is highly requested this is my bookshelf tour so I hope you enjoy um, I finally have the time to do it and it's not organized how I want it to exactly but I haven't got as much space for my books so this is the best I can do right now so I hope you enjoy so up here we have a load of company magazines oh um, some cosmopolitans and glamour some more company magazines and stuff along here we have a load of Twilight stuff my Doctor Who box set um, some more Doctor Who stuff, a book on photography. I hope the lighting's okay, by the way. Um, in here we have Pig Heart Boy, The Duchess, Their Eyes Are Watching God, Road. These are a few big books at English Lit. Um, I don't know. So, The Price of Paradise, a Doctor Who novel. I used to have a load of Doctor Who novels, but I ended up selling them all. <laughs> so I got that from a charity shop, so. Um, Dracula by Bram Stoker, that is a really cool edition. It's quite plain looking and I got it when I got it in a set with an old DVD from, I don't know when it was filmed, but a really old black and white Dracula. Um, L Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, The Other Berlin Girl by Philippa Gregory, a load of Agnes Long's Public Snogging novels, all of my Twilight novels that I cannot part with. I have a fair amount of Twilight books, including the movie copies and the originals, The Host by Stephanie Meyer. Um, the Twilight graphic novels, the Twilight director's notebook. Um, down here we have all of the House of Night novels, but I'm missing the most recent one. I have not read it, so yeah. Cloud Atlas, um, Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman, The Psychopath Test, Mocking Jay, my other two Hunger Games books are around the house, so I have got all three. Um, <laughs> Before I Die by um, Jenny Downham, uh, you, and Ag you Against Me by Jenny Downham, An Education, which is the uh, what the film was inspired from. Um, the Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, which is a fantastic book, it is one of my favourites. Um, some of my classics, this is a really cool sign by the way, it's from the Bodley Bodleian Library at Oxford, the University of Oxford, I'll move that out of the way so you can see. Um, some of my classics we're getting onto now, we have The Great Gatsby, um, Withering Heights, um, the casebook of Sherlock Holmes, The Hound of the Baskervilles, A Study in Scarlet, which is um, Sherlock Holmes, but it's the modern day Sherlock BBC edition. Um, we have A Parisian Affair and Other Stories, um, The Colour Purple, Catch-22, Memoirs of a Geisha, American Psycho, Macbeth, um, Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, Looking for Alaska, Paper Towns, Will Grace and Will Grace in The Fort and Our Stars, Northern Lights and The Graveyard Book. Um, I do own Abundance of Catherine's but my friend has been borrowing it for well over a year and I haven't had it back. Further down we have the Doctor Who Encyclopedia, A History of the Universe in the Thousand Hundred Objects, um, Fallen, these are a lot of my teenage books by the way, a lot of them are vampire books. Oh, Angela Carter's Wise Children, Clement, Hershesh Crescendo, uh, Prophecy of the Sisters, Mortal Instruments, uh, Clockwork Angel, Poison Study, Magic Study and Fire Study, um, The Book of Lost Things, Stephen King's The Shining, um, Adrian Mole, Perks of Being a Wallflower, Elsewhere, American Studies, Discovery of Book Collecting, because <laughs> um, I collect books, um, Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, a Skins novel, Billy Piper biography, My Mad Fat Diary, and Frank's Diary of a Young Girl, To Kill a Mockingbird, this edition is gorgeous. It, I got it from a charity shop, it's a special edition hardback and it's brand new condition and it's beautiful. In Fry Chronicles, a Robert Pattinson biography, um, a French to English translation dictionary and literature in English which is a Cambridge guide. So yeah, oh and down there I have my DVDs and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I also got a couple of books over here which I'll show you. I've got The Cuckoo's Calling under there which I'm reading and The Book Thief as well. Yes, oh and Alexa Chung's It. I hope that was enjoyable for you all. I do have some other books around the house as well, but as you can see, my space is kind of low. One Day by David Nichols. I didn't notice that before. So I hope you kind of enjoyed that. Um, so feel free to leave me video requests and stuff like that, and to say that I'm a literature student, so basically I get loads of my books from charity shops, like classics and things like that, and I like collecting books as opposed to reading them at the moment. Um, so, yeah. <laughs>